Hey guys, a few of you have asked in the past how you can collect files from prospects after they've gone through your funnel. Now, there's actually a simple way to do this. I've overlooked this, and the reason why I've overlooked it is because uh, I haven't been using Dropbox for like seven years. I've been using Google Drive. Now with Drive, if you set up a, a folder in there, um, the sharing rights that you set up, and there's different sharing rights that you can set up, but um, for the most part, it's gonna open up access to anyone to be able to go in and uh, edit the files that have been uploaded, be able to see them and, and, and download them and so forth. But for Dropbox, they have a feature where you can set up file request where someone can upload the doc, but uh, they're not going to be able to see the doc once it's up there. Then no one else can see it except for just you. So if you sign up for a free Dropbox account, what you can do is in Dropbox, you go to files, and then you go over here off to the right to request files. So click on request files here. And you're gonna create a folder. So let's just call this phone sites. Now, if you're maybe like a mortgage officer or something like that, and you're working with a bunch of different real estate agents and you wanna set up different funnels for the real estate agents and then you wanna to try to keep everything clean, then you might set up one folder for one funnel. That way you're working with a particular agent uh, all of their leads uh, documents that are coming in for the funnel that you're working on with them, it all goes in one folder. So I'm just going to set up one folder here for this purpose. But um, if you needed to segregate everything, you can create different folders. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the link here for this file, this folder that we just created, and then click on done. And again, like if I needed to, I could set up another one. So I could just click on request files and it's going to create another folder down here. This would be like four or two, right? I'm going to call this phone size four or two or something like that. And then I could select next and get that link if I wanted to. And then now I've got two different uh, folders set up for two different funnels, essentially. Um, now what I'm going to do, though, is I already copied the, the link here for the first folder. And if you miss that, you can always go back in over here and then go to copy link. So you can copy link back over to phone sites and then now we need to add this in for a redirect so basically whenever someone gets to my thank you page here they can be redirected to Dropbox to be able to upload that document so I'm just going to use the default button that's on the page that gets added in the form block which is what you see right here on the left this will be my button that you see right here on the right now if for whatever reason uh, on this page, if I wanted multiple blocks, or sorry, multiple buttons, then I might need to go in and click on add block to add in a button block, right? And then I could put in that Dropbox link right there. But in this case, I'm not, I don't need multiple buttons on this page. I'm going to delete that button block and I'm going to use the default button here. So in order to get that button set up properly, I gotta go over to settings. Scroll down to redirect and change this to be external URL and then just add in that Dropbox URL and then select save. And once we open up this thank you page here on new tab, then we can have our user select uh, the, up, the, uh, the upload button here and upload the document. So let's go ahead and do that. Now on this page here, this is a Dropbox page. This is what they've been redirected to. They've got a couple options. They can either choose the file from their, their phone or their tablet or computer and upload it from there. Or if they already have a Dropbox account and the document that you need is in Dropbox, they could click through here to get their document from Dropbox. So I'm just gonna use computer and just gonna pick a recent file here. Uh, obviously you want them to submit you know, a PDF for some sort of uh, energy bill or uh, most recent statement from their bank or something like that. I'm just gonna add in this screenshot here and that'll be my pretend doc. And then now that's gonna get uploaded. And if I needed to add in more files, I could, but I'm just gonna upload that one. And then after that's done, the next page is gonna let them know that they've uploaded and they can add in more files if needed. Now notice on this page, they have no way to go in and um, see the file that they uploaded. They can't delete it. They can't delete someone else's. They can't um, download anyone else's. So that was my primary concern with trying to use something like Google Drive before. 
which I may have discussed with a few of you in in various threads in the past in the group. But with Dropbox, we don't have to worry about that. So let's go over here to Dropbox. So as you remember, I set up two different folders. Uh, I just used the link for this one here from my phone site's site. I didn't set up uh, a different funnel for this one here. So we should expect once I refresh the page, we should see one submission here for this folder. So let's go ahead and refresh that. So there's our file, and then we can go ahead and click into our folder. And so there's a file. Um, and so then I could, you know, if I was a loan officer or um, solar company or something like that, I could pull down whatever documents I need to evaluate for this particular lead. Now Dropbox will email you whenever you get a file that has been uploaded into Dropbox. Um, I'm sure you can probably set up in uh, Dropbox settings to be able to um, limit the emails that you're getting from them. Perhaps you don't want to get all of these notifications. Or if they don't have that uh, setting set up, you could simply set up a rule in your Outlook or Gmail uh, to have these particular incoming notifications for these file uploads uh, for those to go into uh, a folder. Now, one more thing I want to point out too is back here at the folder level in Dropbox, uh, if you have a teammate that you're working with and they need access to this, you could simply go over here to the little three dots uh, menu icon over here and click on share and then grant them access. You could just give them um, access via adding their email address here. They'll get an email saying um, that they've been granted access to this folder. And then, um, then you should be able to share these documents going forward to be able to work. All right, guys, it's as simple as that. Um, you have any questions? Let us know.